Swifties, it's Ellen here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Maroon off of Taylor's new Midnight's album on the guitar. So stay tuned if this is something that you'd like to learn. Alright guys, this is going to be another one of those super beginner friendly songs, but first of all, let's talk about our guitar. You will need it to be in standard tuning, and we do not need a capo to play this song in its original key. On top of that, we only have four chord shapes to play through the whole song, and none of them are bar chords, as well as one strumming pattern that you can apply for the entire song that sounds really great. So with all of that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the chords. Alright guys, so like I said, we only have four chords to play through the entire song, and we're going to start with our C, which looks like this, and sounds like this. By the way, if you don't know how to read these chord charts you're seeing on screen, I do cover how to do that on my other channel, Forever Faithful, so I'll make sure to leave a link right here for those of you who need it. After that, we have our G chord. Next is our E minor. And then the last one is D. Those are the only four chords you need to know to play this song. Now just a quick note for those of you who are familiar with my channel, you might have noticed that I normally play E minor with my middle and ring finger, but for this song I do think it's easier to transition if you use your pointer and your middle finger. So again, totally up to you, just figure out which one you know you like better or is easier to transition between. So with that being said, go ahead and just pause the video and make sure to take a few moments to practice memorizing those chord shapes as well as transitioning back and forth between them. One of the great things about this song is that the chord transition order is the same throughout the whole thing. So the whole song is going to follow C to G to E minor to D. So as long as you can transition these chords in that order, you should be good to go for playing the song. Um, but with all of that being said, let's go ahead now and jump into the strumming pattern that you can use for this song. So as I always say, if you're a little more unfamiliar with guitar or this song, the first thing you should do is just pair it with a down strum, single down strum pattern, and you would do this for the entire song, just sing through it, and take a mental note of which word you're singing whenever those chords are transitioning. So for example, if we pulled up the first verse, you would start with your C chord. The morning came, we were pleading and says off your Final shelf because we lost track of time again. All right, so basically, you just want to make notes of where you're going to be doing those transitions. Again, this song is fairly straightforward, so you're going to play each of these chords for the same amount of time, and that's going to apply a lot more when we look at the full strumming pattern. So, the full strumming pattern I would recommend is a down up mute down up pattern, and it's going to sound like this. So for that little asterisk, that's just going to be a mute, and all I'm doing is when I strum down, I'm just going to take the side of my hand and just rest it on my strings and just kind of mute them. Like that, okay? So for the whole pattern with our C chord on, just for example, you're going to go down, up, mute, down, up, alright? So the rhythm goes like this, down, up, mute. So what you want to do is apply this pattern one time through for each chord. So we have C, G, E minor, to D. So you can do it with the um, whole song. That was the verse. As an example, let's go ahead and do the chorus as well. And I chose you. going. Um, sorry if I seem a little bit like out of sorts with this. I just learned these songs like five minutes ago before recording. Um, so but hopefully this helps. This strumming pattern can actually be applied for the entire song and it sounds pretty similar to the original. So once you get the pattern down with the chord transitions, you can actually play through the entire song. So let's go ahead and jump into the playthrough. Last Feeling. You were my first 
have fun playing through the rest of the song with me? Then make sure to check out my Patreon page where you can unlock access to this as well as all my other Swifty sing-along tutorials. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description box down below as well as in this iCard right up here. Alright guys, but that does it for this tutorial today. I really hope that it helped you. If it did, make sure to give me a thumbs up down below as well as leave a comment with what other songs you want to learn from the Midnight's album. I'm slowly learning all of them for myself and I am more than happy to teach them to you. So just let me know which ones you want to see next in those comments and I'll make sure to prioritize those for you guys. Also make sure to subscribe to this new channel Taylor tutorials. I am trying to build this from my Forever Faithful channel. This channel is going to be only focused on Taylor Swift songs. So if you are a Swifty and you love learning her songs, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my new tutorials moving forward. But again, that ends my video. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope that it helped and I will see you in my next one coming out really soon. Bye!